Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we're at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons meeting in Los Angeles, California, where a big topic among the experts is optimal patient care through innovation. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Patrick McCarthy, who is the Executive Director of the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute at Northwestern Medicine. Dr. McCarthy, we've known each other for over 15 years. During that time, you and your team have treated thousands of patients with excellent outcomes and also innovation specific to devices and therapies. Can you share with our community the history of the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute? Thanks, Adam. And first, I want to also thank you for all that you do for these tens of thousands of patients that have been following you over these many years now. So um, the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute started on Valentine's Day, 2005. So we're hitting 20 years now. It's been a great journey. We went from 250 heart operations a year to 2,700 this year. We knew that we kind of arrived because we weren't even ranked in US News and World Report uh, when we started. And then a short 10 years later, we were in the top 10 in the country and we've been there ever since. For me, part of the reason that I did it is I came home to Chicago. Neil Bloom was from Chicago, grew up a, a poor kid in Chicago, and wanted to have a great heart center there so people didn't have to leave and go elsewhere. Dr. McCarthy, how has the team at Bloom Cardiovascular Institute grown to address all these cardiac diseases and valve therapies with new innovations and techniques? So, uh, you know, it's really important that you mention the word team there, Adam, because we really do function as a team. In business, they talk about that it's not just strategy. We had a strategy, but it's also culture. If you come there, you will find that, you know, the nurses, the people that greet you when you get off the elevator, the, the doctors, all of them, like they're really proud of what we have been doing. A lot of it also about the leadership in Bloom Cardiovascular Institute. Doug Johnston has done a remarkable job. He's brought other very talented physicians along with him. Uh, we're one of the only places in the world that has American Heart Association presidents. I mean, we're just blessed. This is Dr. Doug Johnson, who's the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Northwestern Medicine. Dr. Johnson, as I can remember, patients struggle with all kinds of challenges as they go through the heart valve surgery process. How has the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute at Northwestern worked to address those emotional and physical challenges? Well, you're absolutely right, Adam. Getting a new diagnosis of cardiovascular disease is incredibly difficult for patients. We've realized that it's very important to get to patients early to be able to answer their questions and to have someone guide them through the process. And that's why we've created what we call the FAST program. Dr. Johnson, what is the FAST program? So the FAST program is really a personalized care program where we provide an expert nurse coordinator who will contact the patient within 24 hours of reaching out to us. They answer questions, they guide them through the process, and they really uh, coordinate all of the care so that we can get a virtual appointment with a surgeon or a cardiologist as soon as possible. So with this, our goal is that the patient only needs to make one visit to see us in person at the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute, usually for their, their procedure or their surgery, and everything else is remote. So with this approach, we've grown to 48,000 new patient visits annually, and uh, we see patients from 27 countries uh, so far and all 50 states. What we're seeing, Adam, is that the, the results in terms of patient satisfaction are very positive. Uh, surveys tell us that 95% of patients would recommend their heart physician after coming to us through the FAST program at Northwestern. This is Dr. Chris Malazri, who is a leading cardiac surgeon at Northwestern Medicine. Dr. Malazri, can you tell us how the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute is using research to help heart valve patients with new devices and next generation techniques? Well, right now we have over 10,000 active research participants in over 100 clinical trials. And we've seen a five-fold increase in study enrollment over that period of time. And our faculty have secured over $120 million in active NIH grants. This research not only helps us inform our own practice, but also allows us to share the findings on optimal treatments for our patients and physicians all around the world. Dr. Malazri, how else is the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute shaping the future of heart valve disease care? 
Well, we're proud to be on the forefront of innovation and developing leading edge technology, advancing heart valve disease research using artificial intelligence, offering rare procedures, including the Ross procedure and incorporating minimally invasive robotic procedures. This innovation has led to excellent patient outcomes, including the highest heart failure success rate in the nation. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.